How's it going boys? Today we are playing everyone's favorite crab deck. The ruin crab, the ice crab and everything that makes these crabs just so much more crabby. So, this is a mill deck and this mill deck has a potential to go infinity. Let me explain. We are using the crabs, we are using things that duplicate crabs aka glass pole, mimic and double major. Then we have this little neat combo. Uh, the Lord Dracus and a double major. The Lord Dracus mutates, aka draws a land because migratory great horn. Then the Lotus Cobra gives you mana, and you can just double it up. Essentially, you can almost do something like an infinity turn type of combo, which is pretty neat. And then we have these cards, Boneyard, Lurker, and Dreamtail, Heroines. You can replace this with something else if you want. I personally kind of like them, so I keep them. We have Ashiok's Soul of the Wild in case we mutate Auspicious Statics one too many times. So, you know, our main win condition is only mill. I am pretty much never hitting face, even though we can actually, by the way, do, it, do this. Because we get a lot of lands, and this thing kind of gets powerful with lands, and this does give fly. So yeah, there you have it. It is definitely a combo. We have the Polyvog Symbiote, uh, obviously for early plays if that happens. Lotus Cobra Ram Double Major is just fantastic. It's a little bit niche, but it's still pretty fantastic. If you don't need it, chances are you can just discard it away with the Polyvog. And, you know, <clears throat> Glass Pole Mimics, all of these things. 24 lands to be specific, 4 glass pole mimics, 4 fable passage, nothing too special in that uh, in that sense I would like to say. But it is fantastic, because this deck <coughs> has so many combo potentials that's can absolutely insane what you can actually pull off with this. So, without any further ado, let's just get a cracking and see what happens. The combos are gonna be there and I'm gonna show you how it works. Usually you always start with... Uh, a ruin crab in your opening hand because arena is arena, but admittedly there is a downside. It turns out people actually use guys blessing in their decks. I have never played against anyone who uses guys blessing in their decks, uh, but turns out there's a lot of people like that. Also, not the dream start, but it is a start nonetheless. Didn't go first, not sure what this is. But dropping the Polyvog, oof, do I want to drop the Polyvog or do I want to drop the Cobra? The Cobra is going to be there. If he has removal, he's targeting the Cobra. Honestly, I'm, I'm much... The God Gamer. There we go, that's how you win games, boys. Didn't even try. Well, I never try, so I guess that's not exactly some, something out of the ordinary. Oh, but there you go. This is how most of your games are gonna are gonna look. They, are, they will concede out of sheer intimidation. And, Arena, please. I want to start with the Ruin Crabs, like on stream. Like, the majority of the games we started with Ruin Crabs in hand. Did we get blue lands for the Ruin Crabs? was a different matter. But pretty much always a Krabby in the handy. So yeah, well, yeah, this is a little bit more, more along the lines I was talking about. And by the way, this deck doesn't see a lot of uh, aggro stuff against it. Because honestly, um, no one kind of wants to play um, aggro against this. Because these things have 4 HP, Ruin Crabs have 3 HP. Uh, the Polywogs have 1 damage and 3 HP, aka it's actually kind of abysmal to deal with all of that. So a lot of people... So, you're not gonna get too many aggro decks, at least in... Uh, oof! Look at that! That actually counters my stupid birdie. Well, this is gonna be one of those rare times that I actually say go for the throat. Woo! Big plays! You know what's a bigger play though? Dropping this greeny boy. And looking in what you have in your deck. Ooh, that was pretty nasty. <clears throat> I like it. Okay, do this. Do the over. And then we're gonna clap not such cheeks. Well, you know, she's she's pretty desperate. So we're actually doing, like, a favor. Okay, Mill, two of his rat spells. I wonder what this is. A classical, uh, just Tefari control type of deck? Hard to tell. So, let's see. Was there a Polywog in, up in here? I don't know. 
Anyway, gonna do this. Actually should have not done that. What did I mutate on? I'm not gonna read. Oh, a crab, right, a crab, crab. Yeah, that's, uh, that's fine. Should have obviously played this first, but... Why not? <clears throat> I actually don't care too much about the draw, and he can counterspell stuff, most likely. So, it is what it is. Under. Why? Because reasons, obviously. Okay, now I can draw a card. And next turn I can Static it up if I so choose to. I may be not actually... Well, I may actually not choose to do so, but, you know, we're gonna see how it is and uh, wh what it feels like. Oh, yes. Oh, by, by the way, every word I say is probably gonna be somehow the equivalent of uh, Enrique Iglesias' lyrics, because obviously reasons. Oh, because, you know, it feels like heaven! Well, that's actually a different song, but you... Oh! You know you didn't exactly do a lot there, Chief. Yeah, not gonna lie. You, 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 you kinda didn't do a lot here. You have three lands, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna drop a crab, and I'm gonna drop another crab, and then I'm gonna double up that crab because I'm just that kind of guy. Or I could potentially do the uh, do that. I don't know. Well, what can I say? We're just gonna have to wait and see. Come on, do something funny. I dare you. I double dare you. Counterspell it. See what happens. See how it feels. Because it feels like heaven. Oh, wait a minute. Uh, yeah, sure, pay. Use one more. Really, now? You actually did not use one more. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna mill you a bit. You know, just, just a little bit. It's like the friendly mill amount, you know? Uh, let's see. I'm gonna do that next turn. I'm not gonna use the crap. I think... Like, look at him. 14 cards in the graveyard. He's feeling bad about life. Can't blame him. He's up against the Krabby Patty mill deck. So, you know, it, it's not like he has options here. Also, I am in no rush. No rush at all. I'm gonna drop this crab, mutate, and then I'm just gonna play this on top of the mutate and call it a day. Could go for the auspicious Starix mutate, I think. Costs six, how much do I have? Exactly lethal perfection. Do I want to do it, though? <clears throat> I could. That would be a very dominant play. Yeah, that would be a very dominant play, honestly. Hmm. Or I could just double mutate it on that. Now, I'm just gonna do this. Okay. Come on, Buttercup. Let's let's see what you got there. Are you gonna counterspell something? Oh, big plays. Big plays. But I'm gonna just mill a little bit more of your stuff. Uh, you see, you're, you're some kind of Tefari deck, 100%. I, I don't currently see the Tefari, but honestly, who cares? Uh, the only problem here is if he kills everything. That was a, that. Uh, that's why I was a little bit hesitant about the ruin crab here. I'm gonna do the over, but it's not gonna help a lot, honestly. But we do have this that we can mutate, and that's the, like double draw, and then we have an auspicious statics, which which is gonna make. Well, we're out of lands. That's that's something. <laughs> Dude, what's what's the play here, Chief? Like, come on, you're just doing the pushy pushes. Oh, you gave. Oh, that's not how you do it. Oh no 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 no. Oh, that's 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 a lot of statuses. Okay, in that case, wait, can I even take advantage of all those statuses? I don't think I can. Uh, okay, do this. Let's see what happens. I still have the other mill crabs. I'm honestly just currently milling him with uh, with a bunch of ice crabs, which kind of is hilarious to one uh, to a degree. But on the other hand, yeah, even I think it's a little bit sad on uh, on some level. Okay, get this. Ooh, yeah. Everyone, relax. Are you gonna push this back, dude? Come on, don't do it. Oh. Yeah, I guess that's reasonable. On the other hand, I don't, I'm not exactly the person you should ask on, you know, reasonable things and outcomes, as they say. 
Okay, I can... No, I can't actually get back. How much mana? Uh, this costs three. How much mana do I have? Five, nine. Five, nine. Three plus... Oof. You know what? No, I can't. No, you know what? I can't. I can and I will. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep that. I have no idea what this guy is even gonna do. <laughs> yeah. That's all she wrote, as they say. <laughs> uh, I still have crabs, by the way, up in here. Just saying, you know, FYI, I guess. So, drop a snowy boy. M mill a little bit more, because you you know what's up. Uh, we, he, we, we still have it. I, I, what is his deck? There's no way it's actually the fa- Okay, that's a little bit awkward. I'm gonna attack because I want him to block. Wait, is there no- it, What's the win condition here? Is it really just Sun's Grace? Really now? It's really just Sun's Grace. That's kinda insane. Hmm. He's almost out of options. 17 cards left. I honestly don't think our boy is up to snuff. I have 36 cards left. I have no idea what's happening. Ooh, big plays. Actually, it is a big play. I'm kind of low on HP at this moment in time. I can mutate the Stork, but, you know, it doesn't exactly do a lot. Finally, boys. We did it. Dude, do I actually do that? Okay, whatever. Uh, do this and mutate on that bad boy. Do I want... No, I don't. Over, under. Eh, it's gonna be under. It's a 4-4, so it actually threatens the Archon. Okay, got that back. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. So now I can do this. Should have made a Krabby Patty first, but you know. Mistakes can be made. No one's perfect except me, and I don't make mistakes, so you better watch it, son. Also, another flyy boy. I'm okay with that. A extra dextra stuff, as they say. Okay, so now more th <clears throat> more stuff's happening. I honestly need some something that would kill my lands would not be that bad, by the way. Just saying. Just saying. Oh, look at that. L look who finally decided to join the pate. It it's a polywog symbiote. Wow. Okay, by the way, so, uh, so, uh, obviously you can do a little bit of shenanigans. For example, you don't need uh, four double majors, and I'm gonna switch it. That's, that's like one of the most genius things that I have ever taught in my life, and I'm gonna do it. I just wanted to show that this is the, the first version. But I'm gonna give you the second version, which is gonna blow your mind. Because it's just literally that good. It's 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 literally just a version uh, where, where we kill the lands. And we obviously do it with uh, one of our favorite cards. Uh, what's it called? I forgot. It's the four cost one, obviously. Oh, look at that! Finally! Look who decided... What, what did I just do? Oh, I could copy it, honestly. Do I want to copy it? Is there a point in copying it? Nah. Okay, now. Well, actually, I needed to copy. Oh my god, I needed to copy the Ruin Crab. I forgot. There's no point. Uh, I, I made two because it's. Well, it's efficiency to a degree. I made two because it's kind of efficient to make two. Uh, but yeah, should have not done that. Should not have not made the third one. Oh, hello there. Well, that's cute, but you know, it's like you're out of cards, I'm out of cards, I'm a little bit more manly than you. It is what it is at the end of the day. You're using the Strixhaven avatars, and they're kind of like, you know, not saying it kind of shows a lack of anything, everything, but it kind of does. Okay, what do we draw? Oh, look at that! We drew that. That's that's pretty neat. You know what I'm gonna do with that? I'm gonna evolve it. So I can get this thing out. Under. Okay, now it does stuff. I'm not sure what stuff it does, but it does some stuff. Okay, some stuff. I don't honestly know what's even happening anymore. Uh, but I'm getting cards back, and that's... Oh, I think that's it. Wait, there's only two ruin crabs? What it was this mutated on? 
Mutate, mutate. Shape, sh oh, ah, uh, yeah. Why am I even thinking that? Man, I should have just mutated the crab. But as you can see, it clearly doesn't even matter. Because at the end of the day, the best man wins. And that's clearly your boy. You thought the Nord, uh, someone who's using a Nord Kavatar is gonna win me? Hell no! That's not how this game works. You win through. You you win games based on avatars. You win ba games based on conviction. You win games based on dedication and pure, unadulterated, blind luck. That's what you win games on in this game. Okay, let's see. Uh, so, uh, get rid of two double majors, and now add the Coupe de Gracie. You can honestly, like, use only, uh, one of these. Where is it? Why do I forget? Sh Scape Shift, there we go. Scape Shift is 100% an amazing card, if you did not know. Play a Ruin Crab, play two Ruin Crabs, cra play five Ruin Crabs. Scape Shift, it's obviously gonna be a little bit more useful than double major, and it has more synergy with the uh, Boneyard Lurker. There we go. This is the Coupe de Gracie. Technically, uh, the double thing was better uh, is better to a degree because you know it, it's it's like you play a Ruin Crab and you get one for uh, well, one for three mana. Okay, it looks like it's dude three Polywogs with the Bone Lurker. That's actually not bad. Not going first is like really sad and, and sad, but you know. Not, oh, we got third land. This could be good. This could be all she wrote. No, seriously, considering we have lurkers, if he doesn't play angels. Okay, he maybe not be. He's maybe not even playing angels. That's pretty good, admittedly. Oof. Ah. Man, why do, why do white decks always start with uh, Solvard and Waifus? I understand she's a Waifu, but isn't Wizards like Vogue trash? So they literally probably don't even know the uh, you know power of a Zine Waifu. Well, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Uh, dropping a second pull. Ah, I can actually like do it instantaneously. But now nah, I'm gonna drop a second pull. No! Come on! Why me? Every single time it's a righteous Valkyrie on turn three. It's you know a little bit just. I'm dead. By the way, 100% a dead zo. So I'm gonna just do it uh, the max. Uh, uh, we're just gonna uh, push it to the limit, as the kids say. I don't know if the kids say that, but you know. Who, who, who cares what the kids say? Kids are dumb. Said the man-child. Well, doesn't exactly matter a lot, honestly. Okay. Uh, do the math. Literally dead. Love it. Love it. I have no idea what that does. The hell is this? The same name, okay. Well, we kind of knew we were done from the moment. Yeah, so what? Then turn one, righteous Valkyrie. Tur uh, turn three. Oh, it's always the righteous Valkyrie. It's so annoying. Ah, uh, also, currently the uh, deck lock is completely flipped from the stream. Previously, we played again against two hundred card decks, Yorion decks, constantly, and so on. It, it, well, it was definitely something, as they say, but man. Also, by the way, uh, obviously there's a uh, beyond ludicrous amount of synergy with Lotus Cobras and sh uh, Escape Shift. So there you have it also. Again, this deck can pull off miracles in a bottle, as they say. As I say. I trademarked it, so don't use it. Let's see. What do I want to do? Maybe I want to start with... Ne Come again! Literally, again! Okay, this time we arguably have a much more whatever cadaver thingy. If I get a basic land, we're actually up in, up in business. Okay, this is jank. Questionable. Uh, questionable jank. Wait, do I want to do this? Yes, I want to do it like this. Let's see, what did we mill? Nothing of value. I love it. 
Okay, if this is Jank, I'm completely fine. The question is, does he have removal? Is removal a part of his taste? Uh, you know what? This calls for a scary boy crab. Okay, and then next turn I can uh, I can drop the Fable Passage and everyone's having a great time. And, you know, there's, there's a hint I called everyone's having a good time and 10 out of 10 amazing, but that's kind of not the point here. I don't honestly know what's exactly the point, but trust me, that's not exactly the point. Sacrifice three, ra uh, t uh, sacrifice three rats, get control. No! No! Kinda expected, let's be real here. Okay. Ma well, it's not dead, so we can't actually uh, grave lurker it. Well, again, aggro dicks. Well, at least red aggro. Red aggro really dislikes this, by the way. It really, really does. Okay, I'm not gonna uh, copy the, uh, that, I'm gonna go for that. Because if he has more removal, it's always a flat-out more annoying choice. Uh, to go... Actually, you know what, with the auspicious start... Nah, 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 I, I, I feel lucky. Okay, drop one of the bony boys. And let's do an over. <clears throat> as long as he doesn't have removal for this... Oh, boys. Oh, boys. Mwah. Okay, that's a slow deck. Yeah, there's so many chances for me to win this if it's a slow deck. He may even uh, do a desperation move called create as many... I have no idea what that is. Okay, I actually remember. This is quite the problem. Oh, no. This is different card. Whenever you gain life, you create a uh, cat. This is pretty neat, I guess. Admittedly, a little bit slow at the same time, but kind of neat. Uh, let's see, six. You know what? I don't even have to do that. Yeah, don't even have to do that. Okay, do I actually... Ooh, I get rid of the auspicious boy, right? Over, under, no one cares. That's, that's the deal. Okay, do this. A bunch of procody prooks. It's amazing, 10 out of 10, look at, look at, look at it go. As a witch doctor may, may, may or may not say. Okay, that's, that's pretty neat. A little bit more. Okay, are we gonna go for the full swing dive here? I think we are. Yeah, we're gonna, boys, we're going deep. It was rats, wait, is... Is he a rat cat tribal? Oh! Zalus! I applaud you, good sir. You're actually pretty cool. My hat off to you. Uh. Okay. Well, no, maybe he's not. He's just some kind of miraculous token type of th thingamajiggy. Why would you attack? That's right. Okay, watch this. Okay, this. Is what what the kids call Sugoi. Watch. Damn right. Damn right. And no one cares. Let's do it on that. And watch this now. Uh, choose a card. The auspicious statics, obviously. And now some kind of snowy land. No one actually cares what kind of land we pick here. Oh yeah, that's that. That's the stuff. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and now I'm gonna cast the statics and everyone's gonna be kind of like super happy about life. Watch this. Yeah. Uh, ditch this. Ditch this. Over. It doesn't matter really, I'm just kind of doing it because I don't care too much, honestly. Choose a card. I'm gonna pick a great horny mammoth or whatever. Then I'm gonna do this, and now a, ma a miracle's gonna happen. He's gonna get milled a lot. Oh, he simply got... Ooh, he had the Motra. Okay, that's cool. Kinda. Not really. Okay, and th th that's all she wrote. Yep, that's pretty much all she wrote. A oh, boys. A oh, boys. 
Oh, and 3.5% because you are a little bit more precious and valuable than those useless men. Uh, what was the hashtag? Kill all men, a righteous one if I they say so myself. As long as it excludes me, you know? If it excludes me, I think we got a deal. But yeah, if not, then 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 it's obviously horrible. But yeah, again, if it excludes me, I'm up in game. Get up. Like an erect penis. I probably did not have to explain that. But it's fine. It's Magic the Gathering. Everyone would be bored just watching the game because it's kind of garbage. <laughs> Well, everyone knows that. Let's put in a mastery orb. Maybe we find something good. What do we start? Uh, the Simic color. Ooh, that's cool. I don't use the card, but I actually, like... Okay, here's the card. I actually find the art for it really good. I know it's kind of cheesy, you know? Well, it's, a, it's, it's ludicrously cheesy. But I find the art good for this one. I kind of really like it. But anyway, back to the game. Uh, back to destroying dreams. Because I need to teach people something. You know, physical scars heal. But mental scars are forever. That's why we play ruined crabs. We can't have... Uh, uh, we can't allow other people to have nice things. People try. They make their decks. They do stuff. They do shabazzle. They do shaboozle. Oh, I can actually start with the uh, Rhymewood Falls. Or can I? You know what? I have absolutely no idea. But I have three cards in hand, three crabs in hand, and I believe. Lord, I'm a believer. Oh, yeah, I'm the. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, oh, solo. Ho, ho, ho. Solo. Yeah, I am a believer. Oh, excuse me, are you an elemental aggro deck? Well then, let me introduce you to my Krabby Patty family. Also, I got to go first, so you, you're bad at the game. Funk 6 forever? Yeah, you're like... <gasps> Please, just one time, let me get the land. A green one, in fact. It would be great, thank you. Dude, imagine scape shifting. <clears throat> so here's the secret about scape shift. Sacrifice any number of lands, search your library up to that many land cards. Put them on the battlefield tapped. Any lands. We can literally search for four fable passages. We can literally search for four fable passages. This guy's already probably be- uh, this, this guy's already like, Oh god, why me? What, what did I do wrong? Everything, my friend. Why not? Just- ch Dude, 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 dude. RNG. God gamer. Come on! Come on, Arena! Give me a land. Give- give daddy a land. <laughs> So sloppy noises. Come on. I, I will buy packs. Well, I'm gonna buy packs regardless. Later when the new season starts. But give it to me. Get Do it. No, not Chan. No one cares about Chandra. She's a She's a lolly. Illegal. Can't, can't, no one cares. I haven't seen this combo in a while. By the way, we never made the elemental deck. Even though it's... Uh, Man, there were cards that completely broke elementals to a degree. I, I didn't use it, but you know, there, there are legitimately cards that completely break elementals. So yeah, just j green lane. Just, 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 just give daddy a green lane. Come on. Come on, baby boo. <laughs> You're so done. It's over! This guy is deleting this game after like a solid second. Trust me on that, boys. He's probably he's dude. He's already thinking about conceding. Oh no no no, my good sir. No 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 no. You you're not conceding just yet. Relax, my friend. Relax. Now you concede. <laughs> now you can. Now you press the concede button. <laughs> oh, 
imagine how goddamn sad this person is. That's what you get when playing a Sarkon avatar, by the way. <laughs> but still, imagine how sad the dude. This, this guy's just not having a good day. Oh, a smile on my face for every person I make, make sad. 100% out. It, it, nothing makes me happier than making someone sad. Not, it's just mwah, the purest parasite thing that I possess. Oh, you humans are just the source of sust. No, don't, don't, don't rope. We, we haven't gotten into the resolve part. Aww. A little boo. Again, Sarkhan Avatar. Kind of deserved that. Uh, come on, dude. Just go and buy a trench coat. And let's be done with this. There we go. I love the fact is that, you know, this card resolves. But yeah, four fatal passages. Ain't that the most ludicrously stupid thing you have ever seen in your lives? Not saying it's necessary. Uh, but, you know, it's like, what up? Yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of, like, what up? Yeah, I told you this is neat. I told you this is like the Coupe de Gracie. <sighs> 10 out of 10, boys. 10 out of 10. What can I say? It's amazing. This is so good. No one expects the Ruined Crab Inquisition. It's like no one expected the Spanish Inquisition. Even though that's kind of strange because I'm pretty sure they made like a very big deal out of it. Because Inquisitions are kind of their thing. So, how, how did no one expect the Spanish Inquisition? No idea! Was it a stealth Inquisition? No idea! I'm not a historian! But I will assume 100% yes. Stealth Inquisitions with armies. Big armies. With Spaniards. Are Spaniards a type of dog or is that actually a way to call Spanish people? I have no idea. They don't come... Yeah. So... You have a better chance to brick with two green lands to not start with the Ruined Crab. Just FYI, by the way. Arena is a wonderful place, Mulligan. Okay, you see, that's better. You Mulligan one Krabby Patty, you get a bunch. It, it, it's, it's like the way of the world, pretty much, at this point. Okay, do I want to do the Rimwood Falls? Honestly, no. No, baby. Oh, solo! So, wait, that's a lotus. I guess it doesn't matter. We got to go first, and that's two scape shifts, my dudes. If I do the math here, I think he's dead. I, not saying I'm a good mathematician, but not anything. But I'm pretty good. Dude, wait. No, no, no. He's not dead. He's like ultra dead. <laughs> Oh my, dude, seriously? No, I can't actually press the mutate button. Okay, any land will do. Um, yeah, any land would do. Give it to me, baby. Nice and slow. Do it. Do it! Not this, though, but the other part. Do it. Yeah, a lot of this cobra's kind of... Lotus Cobra is beyond dead. Remember what I- Oh! The game wants to give us the combo wombo of dreams. Feverish dreams. Evil dreams. Nightmarish dreams. Heliod? No one cares, Diode. Dude, if I get- Dude, dude. Imagine this. Your boy gets a land. That means I can replay this and I can mutate that on something and it's gonna be so good. Okay, also that's a problem. Land! Don't say your boy's not, not a... The absolute god. You, you can't deny it at this point, by the way. You literally can't. It's impossible to deny... Wait up. DUDE! No, actually I don't think it matters. Kind of a little bit annoying, honestly, but hey, it's fine. Uh, might as well do it like this. Ah, hello, dude. I'm sorry, was there a deck? I don't think there was. Was there, chief? Okay, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Do it again. It's not gonna be enough, is it? Ah, 
sad. A little bit sad, let's be real here. A little bit sad that it didn't go the, the, the not way of the dodo, but close enough, as they say. Okay, do this, do that, and do this again, and do that again. Actually, wait, oh no, I can't block the Heliod. Oh no, wait, can I block the Heliod? How much am I milling here, let's be real. Dude, so close. Oh, I didn't actually mean to press that. Well, it, I guess it doesn't matter. Okay, let's drop it like it's hot. Okay, so here's the deal. If we're super lucky... Oh, wait, shouldn't have actually milled the Fable Passages. Oh, he's doing desperation moves right there, boy -o. Oh, drop... Oh, no, now I'm 100% dead. I guess it doesn't matter, but man, look at this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's just, yeah, it's, it's just fine. Fable passages exist, everything exists. Just put in the ruin crab, see what happens. Yeah, that's that's really cool. That's really cute. Well, we couldn't have won this one, but man. Man oh man oh man oh man oh man. And yes, white life gain uh, in front of red, because white life gain is actually really good. Because, again, every white life gain will start with a turn 1 Soul Warden, a turn 3 Heliod, or, uh, or a Righteous Valkyrie. It, it, like, the, it's the same as we start off almost every game with the Ruined Crab. It, it's, ma it's Magic the Gathering Arena, patented RNG. Not sure if you can call it RNG at this point, even. Like, seriously, I, I think the vast majority of people who play this game are 100% not calling this game even close to RNG. Oh, look at that. It's a start we all uh, all love so much. The Ruin Crab into the Stuff McGee. Ah, uh, 10 out of 10. Wait, did we all not already, like, experience this to a degree? Uh, what they call you? Viscoozy there, Chief? Okay, whatever. Actually, I'm gonna mutate the Ruin Crab here, not this one. Oh, wait a minute. Ah, uh, cute. Oh, look, look at this, dude. Are you an Izzet Phoenix deck? Well, you're kind of some kind of Shabazzle Shaboozle. That's for sure. Oh, someone's going deep. Man, you're so deep I can't even see you anymore. Impressive. Stupid. Okay, well, that's not actually that bad. Okay, you can cast a lot of things now, let's be real. But odd, uh, will you? Oh, ho, ho, oh, so low. Dude, dude. I, 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 your boy can't resist. Your boy just can't resist. This is the ruined crab life. It's a life. It's a life worth living, as they say. Okay, whatever. Pick that. Oh, man. Magic the Gathering RNG. What a time to be alive, as they say. Like, you maybe have a cool combo deck and whatever, but I'm pretty sure you rely on getting some uh, cards to make it happen. It doesn't look like it's happening. That's cute and everything. And... Honestly, that was kind of one of my ideas that you can actually do with that. Wait, if I... Is it actually better? Is it? Dude, is this better? I think it is. It's also more mana efficient to a degree. Also, I can't stand that ruined crab look. Okay, so we get, we get this. We drop that bad boy. <laughs> look at this dude. He is so not happy about- he's- he is- he is not exactly uh, thrilled about being alive currently, let me tell you that much, my friends. He's not exactly thrilled about the current predicament of life, the current outcomings, the current everything. Hello, fake Liliana. At least you're using a good avatar, though. 
But are you using the slap of the slope, please step on me, mommy thingy? Also, yeah, again, these things plus seize them spoils plus this. I was thinking that I could make this, by the way. Aka, it's a really simple deck. You just have uh, red sorceries and instants that cast uh, cost one red, and you reduce the full cost of that spell because you're using things like Goblin Electro Monsters, then you have uh, Birji that gives you one mana, and then you have a little bit of treasure token generation. It, it does stuff. I have no idea what that card does, and I'm too lazy to actually, you know, uh, kind of read. So there you go. Anyway, he's kind of making my job milling him a little bit easier. I'm not sure what's the what, what what's his grandmaster plan here, but I'm very sure he's most likely not exactly achieving the dream. Yeah, whatever whatever he can do, is he gonna just grape shot me or something? I think he is. Yeah, is wait if he double grape shots, does that? Nope. Your boy. Yeah, Magic: The Gathering or Ruin Crab Edition. It is one hundred percent amazing. Lovely, I know. Oh, this RNG. This RNG. Yeah, it's it's magic arena for you. Hey, what? The Ruined Crab is a car. Wait, what? Did you think that those 15 rogue decks against I played and 11 of them had the Ruined Crab in their opening hand was an accident? No. <laughs> no. Anyway, this was Kudr Sensen. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. Check out the channel. Check out the Discord. Check out the Patreon. Check out everything and have a nice day. Bye-bye.